Hello everyone, Black Rose Duelist here. And before I start, can we take a minute how I actually took the time to write out the ban list on here for this video? Like, I honestly care about my video quality, guys. I mean, you might not think it, but I care. Anyways, um, I'm not going to talk about the adjusted ban list because that was part of the ban list because I guess they... Uh, thought the ban list wasn't big enough, so when they posted it online, Konami also added all the adjustment along with the ban list. So, for anyone who didn't know what the adjustment is that came out in February, two months ago, um, it was Juggler, Plush Fire, and Ptolemaeus, all banned. Luster, Monkey Board, and, uh, I can't read my own handwriting, Skull, Crobat Joker, uh, limited to one so I won't be talking about those even though when you look on the site it says it's part of the ban list um, I'm just going to talk about all of these cards that are actually on the new ban list uh, and talk about how the meta is going to change from them because we've already been used to the adjusted ban list now I guess you could say we've adjusted to the adjusted list okay I'm going to get on to it before you get angry for my puns okay so banned we have chicken game and wavering eyes chicken game chicken game is a card that I don't like. Um, it's not, it's not, I don't think it's meant for Yu-Gi-Oh! because it basically makes the game either extremely slow or extremely fast. It's either extremely slow, so you make it that uh, you can't take damage if you have less life points than your opponents, or it's just extremely fast because you use it to pay 1,000, draw a card, play it again, draw another card. You basically use it as like another upstart goblin or once, a once per turn upstart goblin. So it's, I'm happy it's banned just because it created lots of unfair, unneeded plays. Wavering Eyes is just so destructive and so annoying to the point where I'm happy it's banned. I think a limited to one would have been okay. Um, obviously limited to one would make it so you couldn't even use its fourth effect, so that might be why they just completely outright banned it. Because as you know, the fourth effect, if it destroys four pendulum scales, you get to add another wavering eyes. And if they didn't even have two wavering eyes allowed in the game, uh, a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh just wouldn't make sense. The whole idea of it wouldn't make sense. So that may have, that may have been a reason why they complete, completely banned it. But I think the part that makes it most unfair is the fact that you can use it during your opponent's turn. It's a quick play. And the fact that you can completely disrupt your opponent's play during their turn, uh, say they set two scales, say you're going against Clipport, which I know not many people are playing, uh, they go Scout and another pen, uh, Pendulum Monster. You just flip Wavering Eyes, destroy the two scales, you get to add a Pendulum, and they de you, they, you deal 500 to your opponent. So I feel like the fact that it's a quick play and it completely disrupts your opponent's plays and a lot of pendulum mirror matches ended up being who played their wavering eyes first so the second person could then chain their wavering eyes to their wavering eyes then whoever got their wavering eyes uh, off would win the duel. Uh, it just made lots of pendulum decks and the pendulum mirror match really dumb and I'm happy it's banned. Limited we have Wisdom Eye Magician, Norden, Thousand Eyes Restrict, Ignister, the Draco Slayer, Draco Face Off, Reasoning, and Upstart Goblin. I'm going to go through the list. Okay, Wisdom Eye Magician. This was obvious um, in some way, and in other ways, it was kind of like, whoa, why are you attacking Pendulum Magicians? Um, if you look at it either way, it's kind of dumb, kind of makes sense. And the reason why I think they limited Wisdom Eye is because... Uh, all the Pepe players and all the Draco Pal players are now going to fall back to the Pendulum Magician build. And just to make sure that doesn't get too out of hand, uh, they limited Wisdom Eye. That kind of sounds dumb because if the Pendulum Magician deck was good enough, they would have played Pendulum Magicians over Draco Pals to begin with. Um, and it kind of would give them something to go back on and actually play. But, but outright limiting Wisdom Eye, it doesn't kill Pendulum Magicians, but it really was a hit that didn't really need to happen. Norden, I feel, is the same way. I don't feel like any deck really abused Norden that was in like the top four decks right now. And they 
focused on hitting the decks that aren't really the best decks, and that kind of made me a bit angry. And they hit Norden, uh, mostly because Mermel used it a lot too. And I guess to an extent, Draco Pals, some Draco Pal uh, players used it. So I'm happy that Norden is limited, but I would have preferred if Instant Fusion was limited instead, because Instant Fusion is the problem. Norden is a problem, but it isn't the cause of the problem. Instant Fusion being able to basically special summon any monster from your extra deck that's four or lower, that is its effect, um, just basically abuses the effect of Norden. Because Norden as its own isn't that good, because you need to use polymerization and two monsters to play Norden, and then Norden plays one. So it's basically a three for two combo. And Instant Fusion is the thing that abuses it, that makes it a one for two combo, because you're playing Norden and another card off of one card. So. I think Instant Fusion is the problem and should have gotten hit, but, you know, Konami works in mysterious ways. There might be another deck coming out soon that abuses it. And I think the reason for it is also because Thousand and I Restrict was limited one. I don't think anything is going to come out of this, but I guess, why not? Ignister. Ignister is pretty powerful. Um, as you will see from this list, Cosmo did not get hit at all. Um, it got hit, but not really. Uh, it not relevant enough. And the reason why I'm mad Ignister got hit was because it's Pepe, Draco Pals, whatever you want to call them, only response to Cosmos because Ignister doesn't target and it bounces back your opponent's monsters to the deck. And Cosmos obviously can't be targeted, so it works against Cosmos though. So it's its only real way against Cosmos, and since Cosmos didn't get hit, it sounded a bit mean, I guess you could say, to Pepe. Overall, Pepe slash Draco Pals really got the short end of the stick this ban list. Uh, obviously, Pepe completely demolished because two the two best Performa Pal monsters, or Performa Mages, got banned in the adjusted list, but we also see Wisdom Eye, or Wavering Eyes, Wisdom Eye, which would have helped Draco face off Ignister, and the only thing you really see, you'll see soon for Cosmo. So it's a bit annoying. Uh, then we have Draco Face Off, which this makes sense. Draco Face Off is a plus one. Um, even though it's not really a plus one, it only gives you one card. It puts one card in your pendulum or extract pendulum zone thingy. And you can put that card on the field eventually. So it's basically a plus one. And it's inherent, like just play one plus one. And it's kind of... It's unfair, and I'm happy it's limited, not banned, because that would have been too crazy. Uh, reasoning limited to one is good, but not the hit I wanted against Cosmo, because not even many Cosmo players play reasoning anymore. It was just kind of stupid to play against Cosmo, because they're like, I have nine different levels in my deck. Pick one you think it is, and there's a really, really good chance you got it wrong, and basically it's just a, another way to summon their Cosmo big ships out of nowhere. So I'm happy limited to one is okay for me, for reasoning. And then it kind of hurts Infernoids, which, again, I kind of wish they hit Cosmos directly instead of hitting... Uh, Infernoids too, because Infernoids obviously isn't even in the top five decks right now, and Reasoning is one of their best cards, so hitting a deck that really doesn't deserve to get hit is kind of stupid. Uh, why isn't Farm Girl limited to one? Why isn't Cosmo Town should have been hit on this list, even if it was to two? The, de the That card is ridiculous. Anyway, uh, we have Upstart Goblin, which... Good job, Patrick Hoban. You completely just changed you. <laughs> no, I don't want to go like that because a lot of people are like, wow, Patrick Hoban, you completely changed you, yo. But no, really good props to him because before uh, Patrick Hoban, no one even... Upstart Goblin was a stupid card to play. Why would you give your 1,000 your thousand life points to your opponent to just draw a card? Uh, but Patrick Hoban obviously showed the world that it's a good idea to play 37 cards. So really applause to him for getting it. But um, I didn't mean to be mean to him before that. I'm just saying, like, he didn't, like, change Yu-Gi-Oh! But he definitely made Upstart Goblin a huge card. And without him, Upstart Goblin would probably not be limited right now. Semi-limited. Debris Dragon, Allure, and Emergency Teleport. Debris Dragon, cool. It should have probably just jumped right all the way up to three. Um, plants will probably never see the light of day as long as this ridiculous amount of pendulum power is still here. Um, but hopefully one day we'll get some really cool uh, Tengu plant support and we can actually play it again. But Debris Dragon to 2 is cool. Uh, Lure of Darkness to 2. Now this is what makes me angry. And Emergency Teleport to 2 as well. Emergency Teleport going to 2 
not really doing much against uh, Cosmo. But a Lord of Darkness coming to two helps Cosmo because it's a pot of greed. And the reason why it's a pot of greed is say you have a um, Cosmo Town on the field. You play a Lord of Darkness, draw two, banish a Dark Destroyer. Now you play, you drew two cards. So you got two cards out of the way. You got two cards, you use two cards to get those two cards. But now you can add the Dark Destroyer back to your hand. So it's basically like you got the two cards for free for, from the Allure of Darkness. You do two cards and you didn't use anything to get rid of it. You didn't get rid of anything because you got the Dark Destroyer back. So now you basically just pot of greeted. Now that's okay-ish if Allure of Darkness is at one. But if Allure of Darkness going to two, that means they basically have two pot of greeds in their deck. And that's pretty dumb. And Emergency Teleport to two, I mean, why... I'm happy they didn't limit it to one because psychic decks deserve emergency teleport. But if they really wanted to hit Cosmo, they should have semi-limited a Cosmo card, not a card that helps other decks as well. But it is what it is. Emergency teleport to two does nothing to the deck. You know, Lord of Darkness helps the deck. So that cancels each other. Unlimited, we have Dark Magician of Chaos, the Arata. Same with Crush Card Virus, the Arata. Tragodia and Advanced Ritual Art. The only card I see possibly getting used is Advanced Ritual Art with um, the one, the uh, Fairy, the Herald, the Perfect Herald or whatever. And then the um, there's a new Herald card that came out. So I guess that, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. Dark Magician of Chaos and Crush Card probably won't do anything. And Tragodia probably won't do anything. Even though I think Tragodia is a pretty good hand trap against Cosmo. Because you can get over a lot of them, but... Eh, it's not good enough to play. So, that's the list. Rundown of the meta post this list. Monarch FD, FDK was killed. Um, well, not killed. People say it's killed. It's still playable, but the deck should have never been playable. Monarch FD, They should have just banned the life equalizer or whatever, because that card's just dumb. I'm sorry, I really don't like that card. There's just no point to it. Um, that it, It's just stupid. Monarch FDK in general is stupid, but with Chicken Game and Upstart Goblin to one, or Upstart Goblin to one Chicken Game banned, it basically makes the stupid FDK dead. Um, but Monarchs, pure Monarchs, looking pretty good next format. I wish they got hit. Same with Cosmo. If anything, they got helped with Lair of Darkness. Reasoning to one doesn't hurt them too bad because a lot of builds don't play it. And the Emergency Teleport to two basically is nothing to them. Pepe slash Drago Pals. Really, really got hurt. I don't think if they're, com I don't think they're completely dead right now, but um, definitely this list hurt them. PK Fire, if anything, it was helped with a Lair of Darkness to two, and Mermel slash Infernoid were hurt a bit because of uh, Infernoid hurt a ton because of uh, reasoning, but Mermel hurt a bit because it did play Norden and Instant Fusion with like Dragoons and stuff. So yeah, basically this list it could have been better, it could have been worse. Um, I don't hate it, but basically, Monarchs should have gotten hit, and Cosmo should have gotten hit more. I wish Cosmo, next list, I really think Cosmos are going to get hurt really badly. But as you guys know, Cosmos are still coming out. There's going to be new Cosmos in the next set, um, and Monarchs just came out pretty recently. So, meanwhile, Pepe's been out for a while, and Rico Play, not even that bit. It's dumb. This list could have been better. I wish Cosmos, Cosmo Town needs to be limited to one. Um, and I think Dark Destroyer and Forerunner and all of them, even if you hit them to one, they can still recycle it inherently because of Cosmo Town. So I think if Cosmo Town was limited to one, Cosmos would definitely be a little more fair. A lot more fair. Because once you kill the Cosmo Town nowadays, Cosmo Town just searches another Cosmo Town. But if Cosmo Town was at one, you destroy Cosmo Town, they can get another Cosmo. It is what it is. But as of right now, Cosmos are pretty dumb, and I think they're going to be the number one deck. Followed by Monarchs, followed by PK Fire, followed by whatever Draco Pals seems to do, but maybe Magic Spectre, Draco Pals. I don't know. But thank you for watching. It's been 14 minutes. I did not realize it was going to be this long. But I hope you enjoyed the discussion. Um, for more Yu-Gi-Oh! news and discussions and all that, please make sure to subscribe. If you watch my top five decks of April 2016, um, I uploaded it a week ago. I would mentioned that there probably would be a ban list, and obviously there was. The only thing I would change is make Drago Pals number five, PK Fire number two, 
Cosmos stay at number. Just watch the video. There's lots of, uh, I mentioned the top five decks, but just make wherever Draco Pals is number five and everything else go up one, okay? So yeah, go watch that video. I'll leave a link to uh, in the description below. Goodbye.